Ah, and jamming into it. Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. It's a Wednesday. You know we get excited about this one because we get to welcome you back to another hot installment of the Culinary Hotline Link. Ching, ching, ching. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're joined by one of our favorite chefs in the kitchen. It's Chef Clem. Man, if anyone knows how to handle the heat in the kitchen, he's the guy. And if you have any questions for Chef Clem on all things that have got to do with the kitchen, all the things, all the culinary conundrums you might be facing in the kitchen, give us a call right now. The number is 21 110 Clem, it's so good to see you. It's always good to see you. Oh, man, you know what? You come here and you really do save the day when it comes to Oh, you know, all you. those culinary conundrums. So much so that we have people calling from all over the country who want to be here in the kitchen with you, ask you questions face to face, get to share some of their tips and some of their experiences with you, but also get to sort of like be in your mastery. Ah, Things like that, that's right? so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we've got one such person today, one mm -hmm. of our favorites who actually has been on the show, one of my favorite aunties. And she has brought a, 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 a little one with her this morning. Please come on in, everybody. Welcome to the Espresso Kitchen. Yeah. It's so, so good to see you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I need to put this apron on. Let's start with you, young lady. Get this apron on you because we're about to, to make magic in the kitchen this morning. See? And then while that's happening, I'm going to give one to you. Uncle Welcome Do back. Uncle thank Do you. will bring a real thank uncle. <laughs> well, you need, so, to, you need to help you. me in this uncling, in it's this good. uncling mission. So how's everything been? How was the festive season? What did you it do? It was good. Just at home. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. Not a much. A lot of just things like... happened, you know, and... Um, Time with family. Yeah, time with family. Well, you yes. know what, uh, Cecilia, That's it's good. so, so good to see you. And I'm Thank really, you. really excited about it because the last time we had a really good time, you must yes. have gone back to your neighborhood and been the star I'm of everybody's cooking. I'm telling you, really, ne? I was, yes, in espresso, you know. Oh, nice. And today you've brought yeah. someone special with you. Who have you yes, brought with? Yes, Leah, my granddaughter. Leah. Oh, we spoke <laughs> about Leah briefly yeah, the last yeah. time. Leah, it's good to see you. Are you happy to be here? Ah, uh, we are very excited to have you here. So, what's going on? What is the thing that brings us all here that, this morning, Chef Clem? I mean, what are you making? Or is it a question that you're going to start with, Auntie Cecilia? You had a question, yes. Yes, I had a question about the sauce for uh -huh. the uh, spaghetti bolognese. Yes. Um, mine doesn't seem to, you know, come the way I want it. Like nice, thick, saucy. Right. And the Colour, it seems, you know, um, it's just a bit dull. It's a bit dull? Yes. I've got you. So the thing about a bolognese, uh. they fall into the bracket of sauces called ragus. Now, ragus are sauces that take a nice amount of time mm. to cook down. During the time that it's cooking, it intensifies in flavour yeah. and in colour. So this is a really delicious one. Let's get straight into it. Mm. I'm, I'm so, uh, Leah, I can't, like, Leah, all you're gonna do today, your job is to keep Tabiso in control. If he must be hasty, <laughs> just, just sort him out. Okay, so let's talk about what we've got going on. So yeah. I've got some bacon, you can use pancetta. Yeah. This is optional, but the thing about bolognese, it's all about layering flavors. Yes. And while it cooks, all those flavors that you've layered up start coming together. So, bacon goes in there. The next, we're gonna go with our, let's go mince first, okay. okay. So. Mince, I feel like people end up... Mince is such an amazing ingredient because it's so versatile. But for me, people misuse it because they cook it to the point where it's grey. Yeah. Or oh, is and that not how you want it? Like overcooking it. Oh, is that overcooked when it's... Yes. Because I, so, so. honestly, I have to tell you, and that's Talk a good question, because for me, when it goes grey, that's why I'm like, yeah, I the mince Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. Okay, so I've been doing it wrong all my life. Leah, <laughs> Leah now's the time you should have given to be so look like this. Can you do that? Can you try and look like that? <laughs> no, uh, no, Leah's not How old are you, Leah? I think you're the seven youngest. Seven years old. Leah's I think seven. you're the youngest chef we've ever had in the kitchen. Yeah, she's yeah. the youngest chef, but her mic is not on at the moment. Oh, is it it's not? not okay. Uh, but she's seven years old. 
Okay, so we got this. So the mince goes in. What you need to do is you want to cook your mince like you would a steak. Mm. So when I did it sit like that, when I did it cook inside that bacon fat, it's going to get crispy at the bottom. When it crispifies at the bottom, it actually develops a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. Also going to contribute to that color that you want at the end. tabisa has gone full on wardrobe mode, but it's fine. We'll let him do that. I think okay. he has an apron here. <laughs> once, once the mince is done, we're going to hit it with a mirepoix. Mirepoix is very fancy for the trinity of vegetables, which is onions, carrots, and celery. Okay. What I tell people is, when they make bolognese specifically, add more vegetables than you would normally think would be the right amount. The vegetables cook down, they go a bit soft, but they also bulk up the dish. Okay. And Leah is going to get, in this one dish, she's going to get her veggies ready for the oh, day. So, yes. that goes in there. The thing, like I said, a ragu is all about time. A bolognese is all about time. Things don't happen in 15 minutes. Yes. The longer you cook it, the more you okay. develop those flavors, the more intensity you're going to get out of it. So would you go low heat then because you're cooking it over a long period of time? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What I like doing is with one of my tips is that once you get everything to the pan and the guys, the ingredients get to know each other, I actually pop it into the oven. Because then you can forget about it. Okay. Because you don't have the heat coming from the bottom, which is going to maybe catch at the bottom. Yeah. You put in the whole thing in the oven, you're going to get heat all around, so it's going to reduce nicely, cook nicely. Plus, you can go do anything else you want. You just yeah. keep a timer on it, and you kick, like, make sure the oven's at the right temperature, and you're good. Okay. So, next thing is, good for color, yeah. your tomato paste. Yeah. Another cheat is, if you really want to get that intense color coming through, mm. what's the sauce? Mm. Oh, wow. We, I love like, it, exactly. And South Africans, we love Worcester sauce. Yes. There's so many things you can use it for, and this is one of them. So get everything together. Yeah. Get some nice color. Obviously, at home, what I want you to do is cook your carrots, onions, and celery a little more mm. so it can be softer before you start adding a tomato paste. Okay. Again, it's about time, it's about layering, and it's yes. low and slow cooking. And a bolognese, I must be honest, I mean, it, it really is a thing of color, right? Yes. When, you, when you see the color, that's yes. the thing that really most invites you and makes you want to really get into it. Yes. It must look so, so good yes. and so rich in color first. So you got your tomato going in there as well. Garlic now, going in, the... oregano going in, mm -hmm. pepper going in, yes. salt going in. Yeah. I give it all a mix. Um, like I said, bring everything together, let it start bubbling. You can add a little bit of water to it, yeah. pop it in the oven, and I'm telling you, turn the heat down to 150 degrees. Okay. Let it cook for an hour and a half. Okay. The all right. flavors you get out of it are absolutely amazing. All right. And if you can, bulk cook this, make it in a big batch, yes. serve it for dinner, the rest of it goes into a freezer bag, and the freezer, it'll be good for Fantastic. three months. Yeah. I love that. Are you happy, Auntie Cecilia? Yes, this is I'm really absolutely fantastic. Happy. You're from Bunta here, though, aren't you? You're from Bonte here, though. No, no, Mitchell's Plain. Mitchell's Plain, that's it. I thought I, thought I recognized you so from... I, I've learned now a new way can... of making bolognese. Yes, this in... is a really new and exciting way. Yes. You thought you recognized her from Bonte, though? Yes. All right. I thought, like, because, you know, obviously, every time, like... Yeah. <laughs> Please don't even encourage it. Go on to expressoshow.com. If you want the recipe, you've got a stunning one on there, prepared by Abigail Donnelly. It's got all the ingredients you're going to need, uh, and you're going to have so much fun doing this. Uh, and we'll be back with another installment of Calvary Hotline Day. It's my feel good. Jamming back into it. It is the culinary hotline bling. Ching, ching, ching. No, you say it for us. The culinary hotline bling. Say it, you gotta say it. Say ting, ting, ting. Culinary hotline bling. Ding, ding. Yeah. 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 Amazing, yeah. Amazing. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm oh, talking about. It's again. happening here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show where we get to answer all of your kitchen conundrums. We invite you to ask the questions. Chef Clem is always on standby to provide the solutions because he is that guy, he is the moment. Ah. The next question is from Leah. Oh, Leah. So Leah asked a question about piping because I, we actually had a conversation and said, what do you want to become when, you, when you're grown up? Okay. She said a baker. Oh, wow, Which makes Leah. sense as to why she asked this question about yes. piping. Yes. So Leah, can I, can I ask you a question? Can I tell them what you asked? She's asked, how can she get the icing firm enough to actually pipe to get shapes on top of cupcakes? That's a very, or very cakes. good question. It is a good question. That's a very, very good question. What's your answer to that question? So, for me, a buttercream is the best icing to use because okay. it holds the shape really well. It works on cupcakes and cakes. Yeah. It's a really great one because not icings aren't all the same. They all have different jobs to do. Yes. This one is really great because you get to add a bit of decoration to okay. your baker. So, right. Tabiso mm -hmm. and Leah, 
Are you ready for your challenge? Oh, it's not a challenge. It's okay. not a challenge. We're All not right. doing that because Leah would. But also, you're not, you're not, you know, I was going to say, you're putting me up against Leah here. It's a tough <laughs> one because she will take the cup. Yes. Cake. So, hey. <laughs> so, what I've got, I've got the buttercream for you, and I'm going to show you how I've made it, but I've also divided the batter into two. So, I've got chocolate and Ooh. I've got vanilla. Okay. In one piping bag. You. So, what I'm going to ask you to do now, can, Leah, I'm going to ask you to step closer to Tapisa quickly. Okay, cool. And Auntie Celia, you're going to come into so the camera, can still see you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've used the piping bag today, which I think is really, really great. And I know it sounds like I'm a bit, a bit of a cheapskate, but what I do is when I've used these piping bags, yeah. I don't throw them away. I actually just clean yes, them up. Yes, and out, yes. Yeah, so piping bag, you cut the end of the, of your, of the piping bag, okay. and you fit the nozzle in. Yeah. Don't make it too big, else the nozzle is just going to come right out. So make it too okay. small, else you won't get the actual then effect of the yeah. nozzle coming through. What you do is you always twist to you secure watch the end, yeah. okay? Yeah. And this is really going to help Leah with this one. You're going to twist and then get your hand over it at the back. So you, okay. your thumb and your Twist index finger are still holding the knot, yeah. but the rest of your hand is kind of securing the bag. Mm -hmm. Then, I don't want to use your cupcakes. Can I have, so gonna, use my cupcakes. Use Tabiso's cupcakes. Yeah. There we go. You can either start on the outside or the inside when, you, when you're starting to pipe, mm. but it's totally up to you and you'll develop your own technique as you go okay. along with it. So I'm going to show you quickly and I'm going to pass it on to you. I'm an awkward lefty, okay? So everything's in my way. Right. Okay. So you're going to start in the beginning. Oh, wow. And then. you work your way outside. Look at how Beautiful. easy. Because you specifically asked them. about it's roses. So, so you asked easy. About mm. Oh yeah, that's a nice rose. So so nice. There we go. And what's also nice is you got that effect of a bit of chocolate and a bit of vanilla. But yes. it comes together so nicely, so it doesn't come across like you've plonked one and like the other one was meant to be the there star of the cupcake. What that means is you can then divide your your icing into seven colours, oh. and then. Each color is different, obviously. Pop it into the bag separately. So when you pipe, you get like a nice rainbow effect, yes. which I think is beautiful. Wow. So, Uncle Tubsy, yes. you got yours. I'm going to give okay. you back your one cupcake. Okay, cool. Make it the most beautiful cupcake you've ever made in your Since life. I use this piping bag. Thing. You can use that one. Actually, no, you can I'll use, use this one. I'll use your one. And then here we go. I'm going to pass this to you. So you got yeah. the technique now. So I'm going to ask you guys to play, to, to pipe for yeah. me. Mom's gonna help you with that there, Leah. Yeah. So uh, is this a challenge or what? Because you know what? Life is Life is sometimes a, a bit challenge. of a challenge. Okay. On its Very point. simple to make this one. So while you guys are so. busy with that, Tabiso, have you noticed Tabiso so concerned? Like he's so focused on what he's doing. You can almost see the tongue, like you know those people that focus on <laughs> the tongue. Like that tongue. Why are you talking How about my dad like that? You know when Does he, he do that? When he reverses or when he parks, it's always huh? And that's okay. That just gives you the <laughs> level of focus that the individual has. But is your dad the person that turns the radio off when you reverse? Oh, no, no, totally. Yes, and we must keep me, quiet in the car. Me. And also <laughs> quiet in the car. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, then you get my, and then you get my stepmom who has to be so close to the steering wheel. First of all, she is here. She is by the window. And then she quiet with the tongue out. Did you do yours? Uh, no. Look at that. Rigged. Look at that. Auntie Cecilia. Rigged, I think I saw. I saw I you do it. I just a little... Yeah, a little push, okay. A little push. Uh, okay, that's okay. beautiful. This is really nice. Well done, Leah. So, wow. I'm not going to well have done. time to finish... Here. Put it here. Give me your... Give, give me a little fist bump. Boom. Dish. Nice. I... I'm not going to have time to finish the whole action, but let me tell you how easy to yeah. make. Yes. So, you start off with butter, and you take your butter out the fridge, and it get a little soft, okay? okay. And the reason yes. for that is you want to like cook your butter room. first. You no, know, the, the first step, Adicilia, before you do this, is you plug your machine <laughs> in. <laughs> yes. Okay? That would help. That's very important. Plug the machine in first. So once you do that, mm -hmm. that power. Mm -hmm. And that's the recipe, guys. That's that's it. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So then you're gonna start breaking up the butter. Yeah. And you'll yeah, see as yeah. you do that, the butter's gonna start taking an air, and it's gonna go. So colors gonna change. You become a little paler. Because fluffy as well, right? So fluffy. Almost pretty cool. instantly. And then icing sugar goes in next. Mm. Add it in gradually because you wanna. You want to almost emulsify the icing yes. sugar okay. into the butter. butter. Oh, yeah. If you add it all at one, once, you're going to fight with the bowl. You're going to have icing sugar everywhere. All over. You're going to end up with a grainy icing. Yeah. So you work in stages. As soon as this is added into it, and you'll see again, the color is going to change, become even lighter. Leo's mm. looking at me because I messed. Mm. I know I messed. Mm. So you're going to keep mm. on going. Mm. Gradually I love that. So you'd keep going, keep going, keep yes. going, milk and then goes milk in. goes in. That's when you divide it, and you start adding your color. That's the that. icing that'll hold its shape. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Leah's one is better than all of us. All of us. All of, ours. All of us. Uh, Leah, thank you very much. That was great. Uh, Cecilia, thank you so much. That was really fantastic. Chef Clem, as always, what did you think of that? Express Morning Show, SABC3. We'll be back just now. Thank you so much. You're welcome.